Welcome back from the break. In case you've just joined oh, us, we're here at the Sheraton straight. Kampala Hotel on your favorite show, Which is Men, and we are talking about what women should wear. Don't forget, this is your show. We want to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page. It's NTV Men. Like it. Give us your feedback. There are a lot of interesting discussions going on there. Over 30,000 people are talking there. Send us an SMS on 6565 or follow us on Twitter. It's NTV underscore men. Now, before we went into the break. Yes, may I answer? Yes, <laughs> please, Joseph. Okay, I can begin with a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who doesn't? We can sit here and talk about, talk about women dressing for others. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't? Yeah. That's why when people go home, they undress. They are by themselves. <laughs> Not so. Everyone dresses for someone. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> when you're getting out of the house, you dress. Yeah, you endeavor to look to look to look as good mm -hmm. as you want. You people were threatening to come on this set without trousers. Without trousers mm -hmm. and, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so you endeavor to look your best when you're getting mm -hmm. out of the house. You feel good about yourself. But you see, if no one is appreciating that, it, it, it doesn't mean very, very, very much. Is is that true? You I have to slightly disagree with that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. All, okay. okay you you Okay. okay, fine. No, 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 let's agree. Let's, 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 no, let's, no, let's, no, if, okay, uh, sorry, I just say I mean, there's a day very recently, actually. I, um, I, I just, I was just having a mad day, and uh, on a Saturday, I found myself in the bank with a T-shirt and a vest hanging to that, and um, and sandals. Now, obviously, this was like, and because it was in the middle of Nakasera, and this tends to be high-end banking and that kind of thing. But at the end of the day, I had to take a double take to kind of to sort of um, to sort of notice what I was wearing because it's not what I you usually wear. But in the end, I kind of went. Ah, it doesn't really matter because I'm not really impressing anyone. I I just kind of went on with my day. So yes, most of most of the time, like if you're going somewhere, you do have to dress to make an impression. But I don't think everyone kind of dresses every time to make an impression for people. No, 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 not 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 every time. But yeah. you see, that's why you step back. But you see, also there is this mistake that you have, because you have a lot of things going, yeah, for you, the, your confidence is, is, already, is already up there. Because the number of things are going for you that you can even overlook dressing and then, but they will think I just walked out of the house. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm running to the bank because, I mean, other things are going for you. Okay. Whereas you wouldn't have done those things, if or you everything else was not going. Yes, for you. I mean or you wouldn't have dressed like that yeah. because now your confidence is lower yeah. than it. You it is. Yeah. yeah. So, but I want to say something, Peter. I just want to say. You know, we are here talking about how we want our women to look nice, <laughs> but. You don't want to tell people that they have to pay for this stuff. That's why I mentioned earlier, these things cost money. You, yeah. well, you, you, have, <laughs> you yes. have to pay for this stuff because <laughs> my boss now, let me tell you the truth. That Brazilian hair, it's expensive. It's I don't, I don't like understand. Because everyone, everyone, the girls yeah. were like, you know, yeah. if you see a girl with it, those girls were always tapping the wave like this. You know, they, you, you're at work and she has a pen and she's scratching the wave. That's just bad. You know, mm. it's ugly, it's distasteful. The headaches as yes, well. Yes, but yeah. you see the option, <laughs> the option is to now get a nice weave, but that weave costs money. Mm -hmm. Guys want ladies with nice nails every week. That costs money. You want that to have, what they call it, old susu. You know, nice, shiny skin, spotless. You have to invest in that stuff. You know, and, and the, the thing is, like, we live in a place where the economics is tight. For everybody, yeah. It's for his time. And, and, and you, 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 you and, and the real evidence of this, you've had, I think we're talking about with Joseph a couple of weeks ago, we were saying, ladies who say, I'd rather cry uh, in, yeah, a, in a yeah, Mercedes yeah, than, than laugh on a bicycle. Than laugh on a bicycle. Uh, yeah. So you have to understand that the economics also plays an important part. So men can't just want for women to look nice. Okay, so, so then are you saying that um, at the end of the day, a man is ba basically, if you want your woman to look good, pay for her to go to the salon, Pay for her to what you call it to uh, buy her good clothes, get her nails done, all that. Yes, but well, you see, I, I think some of these things don't matter because um, how many women do you have? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah but that's probably the reason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I'm still saying because um, there's this thing that I found this trend in family and friends 
where um, a, a lady wears something really, really nice for a wedding, and like another wedding will come like six or eight months. Again, after. Yeah. And she can't wear it because her picture. Um, she, she she they took a picture of, of her on Facebook wearing that, and I think that's just kind of ridiculous. Really, if you have a nice dress, you kind of didn't you didn't buy a good quality dress to wear it only once yeah. or when they're going to take pictures. And that's when I think it kind of crosses the line. You're yes, you're crying in the bends, but you're kind of putting yourself under pressure for something that really doesn't matter. Yeah, because I, I agree with Charles. I've seen situations where um, actually women refuse to attend functions because they say they don't have anything nice to wear. To wear. And a nice. has a whole wardrobe full of, of yeah. stuff, you know. And, and, and now that's pushing the boundary. And I think that's where some men now say, hey, you know what? Fine. If you really want a new outfit, buy it for yourself you know and they they stay away so and they're not being cheapskates and even and even the, um, when it comes to economics really some people go we're talking about money here some people go and waste it they have money and they still buy uh, bad ugly stuff yes so they, that's they, the thing. They, they they still go and buy unsuitable stuff mm -hmm. things that mm -hmm. do not fit their bodies things that are inappropriate mm -hmm. and my my type of my type of woman is 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 the subtle type as in not, not trying not, not try not yeah. trying too hard but you see that's the thing the, when they buy stuff that's not really nice do you actually think they are comfortable in those things do they sometimes look comfortable because my my thinking is is the actual pressure from society for them to feel that the, the, they have the, to dress up like that they yeah. can trend mm -hmm. yeah. and they have to kind of fit in and they don't actually end up being comfortable and i think that's that that's why i said yeah, first it, it step is be comfortable what you're wearing second is let it look good yep. but, but you see think, some people some people's confidence is so low they they don't even know what is comfortable now society is judging what they're doing and then they realize they step out of the house they realize hell no i'm not comfortable then they have to go back they think buying more dresses is is what is going to solve it yeah. i think it begins with 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 you um making yourself feel worthy yeah these times when it is you yeah, yeah. that impresses upon the world not the other way around okay. yeah. Yeah. i want to go back to the issue of economics and depressing i think for us here we are talking of uh, an average middle class high income family middle income family middle income let us say working let us say working how many women in the village do you judge let us say working no you would be in kabala let me explain i know what he's saying but how often do you go to a win one judge you know what he's saying if he's not even finished yes i haven't finished please now you see when you said you went to a shop and the dress was 900000 and was a small dress like this there is a lady who works I probably at worker's house, I just went she to will get show. that 900,000 on mm. a good Saturday, mm. go to Owino, mm. shop, mm. second class, UK or maybe whatever, nice dresses. Mm. And she will come back with maybe at 30,000, 40,000, she will come back with over 10. And when she walks in office, everyone is asking, where did you buy this one? Mm. Okay. So and when she, she when says it was sent from the UK. Yes. Okay, which is the so, truth. So, 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 so <laughs> when, it's when there's couture in you in sneaky in <laughs> <laughs> So when we talk about economics, it, having little money should not be an excuse for your woman to dress, to dress badly. badly. Okay. Mm. Having they, less money. Yes, having less money. Yes. So the whole idea is to dress within your budget. Mm. Okay. When you have the money, yes, go to and buy that dress of five hundred. But even a dress of 10,000, if it is appropriate to your body shape, it will look good, okay? Depending on your economic status, okay? So the whole idea is, is that no matter how much money you have, you should look good. And in fact, I had an opportunity to look up some of the, of the research about dressing. They said the way a woman dresses, basically, gives some information. For instance, it can tell some men that this is a high maintenance mm -hmm. woman. Yeah. So if a woman, uh, and this should be, I think, a concern for especially single women, <laughs> if you dress very sophisticated and you are going on a date, your man might say, oh, this one I will not manage. <laughs> the, the second date may not come. But those are the, so, the, 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 the those who go there and they order the menu. They say they want to drink the menu. Yes, yes. Yeah, but so first impression, yeah, it <laughs> yeah. shows. Sometimes yeah. it shows high maintenance. Mm. Sometimes it shows the attitude of the woman. Mm. 
I mean, if you are dressed in I don't care, then your attitude is I don't, I care. don't care. But you okay. see, you can you cannot blame all that on the woman because sometimes it can also it, it it can be saying that I went out of my way to look this good for you. So it depends on how you how you interpret all those things. But we are we seem to be making the same point that dressing well is not throwing money at it. All right. It, it is, is not taking time to know yes, your body. It is taking time know what to looks know good. You, yourself. It is taking time to to pay attention to detail. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing, I, I mean, I completely agree with you. So, by the way, you're the best dressed of out of all of us. By the <sighs> way, compliment you. But you see, he mm. might feel comfortable because he's well dressed. He has always been the best dressed. <laughs> but yeah, it's but like we don't compete with him. Yeah, but because um, we are not trying to find size, Joseph. Yeah, but um, <laughs> other people, you see, another guy might feel comfortable because he's wearing his <laughs> outfit mm -hmm. and it cost him about three million shillings. Mm -hmm. So he won't feel comfortable because, mm -hmm. I mean, he got it for really good value. Mm -hmm. It's just that that, that <laughs> monetary value attaches to it. Mm -hmm. And there are women that generally dress really good but spend very little money mm -hmm. on the stuff they do or they might get really creative the, with mm -hmm. the way they do things. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think going back to your point, it's first it's the confidence level in yourself, the self-esteem you have in yourself and not really trying to impress the world mm -hmm. that really matters more than anything and then also women have to smell nice peter okay yeah we'll get to that that's part of the whole, <laughs> the, the whole dressing thing um even though can we be able to get men away from this and say look you know what guys let women sort themselves out let them look good for you or do we as men if i may take colin's drift have to invest and make sure our women look good now we've got to go into a break we're here at the shelton kampala hotel Talking about women and dressing. A couple of weeks ago, we were talking about men and dressing. Women and dressing? And dressing. Ah, ah, yeah. Not and dressing. Okay. The undressing, we'll get to that see, later. See, As I always say, this is your show. We want to hear <laughs> from you. See. Go to our Facebook pages, NTV Men, like it, engage in the discussions that are going on there. Send us a private SMS on 6565. Or if you have a pressing issue that you want to share with us, send us a private email. That's men at ntv.co.ug. It's right there on your screen. We'll be right back. <laughs> 